I think the, the concern is not just in that part of the state. I think the concern is something that we collectively as Marylanders feel. When Governor Wes Moore took office nearly two years ago, he made his intentions clear. We have said that public safety is going to be our number one priority. As governor of Maryland. As governor of Maryland. Congratulations, Governor Moore. Days before Moore was sworn in as Maryland's governor in January 2023, Aberdeen police arrested Walter Martinez for murdering 20-year-old Kayla Hamilton. At the time, Project Baltimore has now learned, Martinez was attending Edgewood High School in Hartford County. Even though, according to charging documents, he was an MS-13 gang member and murder suspect who was in the country illegally. And no one at the school was alerted about Martinez's past. There needs to be something done. I'm working on it, and I'm going to keep the audience up to speed as we pre-file this legislation. Then the legislative session starts in January. Right now, state delegates like Nino Mangione are drafting legislation to give law enforcement officers the ability to prohibit students from attending school in person if they are suspected of committing a felony. Instead, until the investigation is complete, the student would be educated outside side of the classroom, such as virtual learning. Or if the student does attend class in person, the school should be made aware of any potential safety concerns so the student body can be better protected. Do those laws sound like something that you could get behind? I, I'm excited to work with anybody and everybody who's going to make sure that our communities are safe. We will work with anybody to be able to make sure that our kids are safe in their schools, that our people are safe in their homes of worship, that people are safe where they go to work every single day. And if adjustments to the laws have to be made, we are going to be active participants in making sure that the right laws come on board that are keeping our people safe. As lawmakers in Annapolis promise to work to keep students safe, Fox 45 is learning more about how Martinez, after he killed Kayla, was able to enroll in public school. When Kayla was murdered on July 27, 2022, police quickly identified Martinez as the main suspect. Since he was in the country illegally and a known MS-13 gang member, Aberdeen police requested that ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, hold Martinez until the investigation was complete. But ICE denied the request. That is my understanding of what transpired. Allison Healy is the Harford County State's Attorney. My understanding is that because he was a juvenile, they were not willing to detain him. In other words, Aberdeen police knew Martinez was dangerous and asked ICE to hold him during the investigation. But ICE said it couldn't. And because of that, the 16-year-old who entered the U.S. as an unaccompanied minor was placed in the care of Child Protective Services, which enrolled him in public school. In a statement to Project Baltimore, ICE explained Martinez was a juvenile who had not been charged with any crime. With no material change to the conditions of his immigration status, ERO, Enforcement and Removal Operations Baltimore, had no legal grounds for detaining Martinez at the time. I think the best thing that the public can take from all of this is that this system all the way around, from juvenile justice to immigration, it needs to work better. We need to be holding juveniles more accountable and have better laws, you know, to be able to address situations like this. In August, Martinez was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 70 years in prison. Do you think this was a safety violation to put a student like that into a public school? I, I think people need to feel safe uh, inside of their schools and, and people need to be, uh, students need to feel safe inside of their classrooms. And when that is not happening, it has to be addressed. Project Baltimore will stay on this story. Governor Moore did not directly say if he would support changes in law to stop students like Martinez from attending public school. If lawmakers draft legislation as they have promised, we will go back to the governor and ask again. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.